Hey guys, welcome back. And as a thumbnail suggests, I'll be talking to you about the Azul Beach Resort in Negril, Jamaica. In this vlog, I'll be going through the room tour, property tour, talk about the restaurants, as well as their daytime and nighttime entertainment, right? Now, for those who are new here, remember to hit that subscription button. But I kind of got carried away, so let's pull it right back and let me introduce this vlog properly. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Now today, I'm heading to Azul Beach Resort, which is in Negril, Jamaica. I'm here in Montego Bay. I'm just gonna head out right now. It's a little bit cloudy, a little bit overcast with a little bit of sun. So hopefully it's brighter and sunnier in Negril and we're gonna have a good time. So next stop is Azul Beach Resort, Negril, Jamaica. Now Azul Beach Resort is actually in Negril, which is one and a half hour away from Montego Bay. We got there, there are two lobby areas, a smaller one and a large one. This is a smaller one right but there's actually no parking on the property so when we got there we realized that we just had to pull up let off our luggage and then there's a parking lot which is across the road not too far luckily we actually drove past the first entrance and came to this one reason why i say luckily is because the other entrance for the other lobby area is further down and if you were supposed to park your vehicle then it would be a long walk to go back to the other area all right so that is the reason why i say luckily yeah so this is it azul beach resort and no worry about crossing the road they have two security guards that are there on either side with a stop sign um to help you cross the road so if you guys are coming here just go down to the second lobby area it's be way easier than um going to the first one in terms of parking your vehicle but obviously if you're being let off by a tour company then you don't need to worry about all this so this is information for the locals now this is the lobby area this is the smaller lobby area we came here the checking in process was smooth no long waiting or anything like that i was greeted with champagne and you know your girl of the bubbly right um yeah checking in they also take a uh, security deposit but once you there's no damage to anything then you get it back when you're checking out right now time to head up to the room my room is a ocean view deluxe room right and we were actually on the third floor so there's some stairs i have to go up and this is it everyone Because you know I love a good bathroom. Like I, I feel like just in general the bathroom and the kitchen are like the most important part of our house. So step into the bathroom area. Oh also our room is an ocean view deluxe room. Love, is it? Is it this one? Is it like two person can comfortably fit in here? Love it. Love it. We have double vanities, right? Obviously, this is the female side. We have the beauty mirror right here, right? Love it. We uh, have lotion, so shaving cream with a shave, with a, with a razor, shoe pad, sewing kit. That's nice. A shower cap. It's a dental kit and rugs. Kleenex. Oh, I guess this is my toothbrush right there. So all it is separate. You know, and the tiles them, they're not bad. You know, the common tile, you know. Love it. I love our rainfall show of it. And in here is big again, you know. Two, three persons can fit. Have a handheld show. You know, we're at the towels. And this is the closet area. Because we have room where you have the safe, more storage. It's a nice closet, so you get a walk in closet at that. Blow dryer. So, we're going to start all guys. Everybody had the umbrella. Everybody had the umbrella. 
right? Have that iron, iron board, and that one rolls. All right, with your bedside. Um, we got a bedside sleep bar right here. And a nice full length mirror. Yes. Love. Love that we have a full length mirror. I have a stool. So you can sit and get ready and I just see the rest of the room. So obviously under the room service, also guys, room service is free. So I need I don't think there's a time for it either. Maybe there is, I'll double check, but I don't think so. So you can sit, dine, when you get room service. And this is the bedroom here. Nice, parking size bed. Yeah. Soft. Yeah. Let's go. I just love how spacious it is. I love how spacious it is. And then this is where we are. And we're literally on the top floor, so we can see everything that's happening. I don't want to swim up the blue bar right there. I have our little bamboo foam chair. Love that. Let me show you the other view. Alright, so if you want the sunlight to come in, there's another view. So it's definitely ocean view. You know, sometimes you go to some hotels and them say it's ocean view and it's like a seat in a corner. But this is definitely ocean view. So this is nice. Uh, it's a mini fridge area, so it's not stocked. But they say if we want it to be stocked, we can call 62 again and they'll come and they'll stock it. Um, but yeah, there's nothing in there. And we have just a coffee maker. We got coffee. This place is not tea. Oh, we got tea as well. Alright, so it's not that bad. We usually only have coffee. <laughs> Alright. That's it. That is the room. Okay, this is just now on to the property tour. Now there are 12 buildings and each building is separated by a pool with a swim up bar, right? Now, what I want to point out, the swim-up rooms, right, there are two types. Now, this is one you can see right here in the corner that has the cabana bed right on the deck. And that's what I'm the bed I'm talking about. But they also have the stairs you can climb down into the pool, right? But then the other swim-up rooms, they have a ladder that you have to go down in. So there, there's a difference, right? And there's not much privacy with any of the swim-up rooms. Like they're all surrounded by a bar and everybody have access to the bar so it, there's not much privacy if you're looking for a swim up room where there's that where you want that privacy but it is nice it is beautiful and one thing i like about the hot resort it's not too big so you can easily make your way around the property and it's kind of homey or cozy i should say right so this is a water sports area with the different um water activities that you can do they have the hobby boards i'm going to talk more about this later on in the vlog but like i said i'm just showing you guys around the property they have multiple small pools around each building and they also have these cabanas again i love these cabanas they're free for ever anybody once you're on the property you can take one it's like a first come first serve love a good cabana also guys don't forget to like this video share this video Follow me on Instagram as well as TikTok. Subscribe, you know, hit that subscription button and join the family, right? Now, continuing with the rest of the tour, this is the Garfield Beach House. And this is one of the another areas where you can get lunch. I'm going to talk about that a little later. This is a sky massage area where if you want to get a massage right on the beachfront, then you can easily get a massage right out on the beachfront. Um, they also have this area right here where they do yogas in the morning right so you can come out here in the morning get your yoga on you know watch the sunrise and this is the beach so we're on the negril seven seven mile beach in the grill and we have the chairs and more lounge chairs at the back that are also free again first come first serve but they have a lot of them they stretch around the entire beach so we don't need to worry about getting a chair 
So this is one of the restaurants, it's a Jamaican restaurant called Aki and below that restaurant is an Italian restaurant. I never got a chance to eat at an Italian restaurant but I did. Just went inside so you guys can have an idea of how inside looks, you know. And then upstairs that area is a lounge area called Nesta Rasta Lounge. Obviously the name after um, Bob Marley. Um, this has a bar with all the liquors like top shelf and everything and it's a nice area where you can they set it up in the night as a club vibe or then they do karaoke there and again i'm gonna talk about all the entertainment just a little further down in the vlog but i'm just showing you guys everything so it's a nice lounge area now we went back downstairs and this is another restaurant which is a palms restaurant now by now we would have made it all the way to the opposite side of the resort like I said, there's one to twelve buildings, and this is the second. This is the main lobby area, the bigger lobby area. So we're just making our way around to the other lobby area, so we could see what it's like. What I forgot to mention is that at each lobby area they have a sanitization area, and the sanitization device that they use actually does face ID, which takes your temperature and then you know you sanitize, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, this is a sweet area where you can get any little cupcake, you know, cookies. They, I think they have ice cream here as well. Coffee. They definitely have coffee right here. Um, actually, you know, I never got anything here, but my friends did. So, yeah. So, this is the main lobby area. And they also have an ATM in this area right in the corner over there. Now, just outside this main lobby area is another pool area, right? And another bar which is right there in the corner guys the bars were right there everywhere you went there was a bar and I love that no the spa this is the spa area just gonna take you guys into the spa so if you guys want to take a massage yeah. or even a pedicure manicure yeah, nice. you know facial whatever it is that you guys want to do they have it here when I was there they were having a deal I think for the 15 minute Swedish massage it was initially 137 and they had a deal of 110 per person right and you know you enter the area nice ambiance smells nice you can smell all the different oils and everything and you know they have different rooms a lot of rooms and this was the area for the um the double massage area couples massage i should say <laughs> right so that's the spa area they also have a gym right now you know me you know i had to come and show you guys the gym right i have the full length mirror as you walk in and me being me i had to just check out myself but separate apart from that like the gym in general has all that you would need for a gym right now they had the lap pull down machine they had the abs machine they have the chest press chest fly you know they have the leg press machine they have free weights in the corner weight assisted pull-ups and triceps dip you know a trainer was also there they had ellipticals they also had treadmills you know the cardio area and all of that so that's just the gym area i wanted to show you guys so you know one last look again after doing the property tour i went back up to the room and took a bath right so i love when the hotels have a bathtub i always try and get a room that has a bathtub because you know it just it's just relaxing you know you just set up your bath and everything put all your salts in it put all that you need you know and you soak away your worries and that's what going on vacation is about you know it's relaxing and doing what you love you know listening to some music drinking some champagne i love the bubbly and you just relax now what i will say before i went and took a bath we're actually down on the beach taking some pictures you know check me out guys again follow me on instagram so you can like these pictures right but when we're down on the beach there were nothing but sand flies sand flies they devoured me so guys walk with the bug spray right but the sand flies are on the beach right but i didn't mind i came back up to my room and this is a sunset from our room Oh my god, look at that. Amazing. What more could you ask for? So beautiful. Yeah, and the following day we were on the lounge here just chilling, you know, with a pina colada, just relaxing. Now, even though I mentioned the sun flies, what I will say is they're not there in the day. So it's like in the night when the sun is setting. You know, you want a nice sunset picture? You know, it's like the, the sunflower, and I was like, oh, all right. My lady's skin nice and clean, no, sir. This can't go on. 
and they just decided to come and you know but in the day there wasn't any sand fly no it was raining so i had to go back to the room again so it was drizzling and you know we're on the beach i was gonna go take a swim but i had to come back up because it was drizzling but i didn't mind because i'm gonna come back up on the room and go on the patio chair that we have because i love it but we're on the top floor and it has a nice view however it's not covered because so outside is wet which is why i have this towel on my shoulder right here all right so this is what i'm talking about so it was raining oh here is a little wet but i love i love this i love this chair um but still a nice view still relaxing and having a very good time while i was at my room i saw the wedding that was going on downstairs um and it was time for the reception area a little later on so i went down there and just took a video so if you guys are looking for somewhere to have a wedding then the resort do have enough space and they do offer that there's also a rooftop area that i was supposed to go up the stairs for but i didn't get a chance to and you can have like a nice sky view so you know they offer weddings as well now for the restaurant right i'm going to be doing this as breakfast lunch and dinner right this is the mahogany which offers buffet um this is where we went for breakfast um there's another restaurant that offers buffet with so they have two buffet areas that are on the opposite side of the resort because like i said there's 12 buildings if you didn't feel like coming to this one you could have gone to the other one but each area is relatively small they're not that big um of a buffet area um so let me just show you guys what they offer that's chung lu right just chilling um so this is the pastry area and then they have they had a um bread and peanut butter and jam area because you know it's a family resort i don't think i mentioned that it's not an adults only resort it's a family resort so they have all the stuff for the kids corn flakes and milk uh, different options for people to choose from right now moving right along um the breakfast they also have of course they have the ash browns pancake french toast boiled eggs right they also had an area for like tea and all of that um they had sausages more hash browns hash browns were very good they had bacon and they had sliced tomatoes now i, mm, I don't every restaurant always have tomatoes oh i really dislike tomato but anyways i'm losing track again <laughs> more sausages right they had eggs they, they had the jamaican station and they had ground fresh visions, they had sweet potato, yeah, had plantains as well. And then this was some curry chicken. And this is the omelette area where you can decide whatever it is you want to in your omelette and then make it for you on the spot. Um, so it's not that much of a wide variety, but it really has what you really need, if you get what I'm saying. You get me? So I, I was okay with it. Um, there's fruits area and also a yogurt station right now went got our food this is what we settled with some omelette pancakes ash browns uh some fruits and you know the food was good the food was good i give the breakfast an eight out of ten palms this is the other buffet area that i was talking about when we just arrived um we went here for lunch yeah because checking in is at three but we came a little early around two so we walked around the property and we had lunch now they have an assortment of ham and cheese right here as well as bread you can toast it if you wish <laughs> right now they had the fried chicken fried fish that oxtail jerk pork as well as vegetables again um they had ratatouille and some ground provisions as well as rice now this is the pasta area you can choose whatever you want to go in the pasta corn ham mushroom whatever it is and they have the different type of pasta whether the spiral or the spaghetti and you know they make it directly in front of you so i actually just got some pasta because like, the options like i said it wasn't really that much also with this restaurant what they are for sorry what they offer changes throughout the day now this is the vegetable area right and they also had a yogurt station again there's always a yogurt station with marshmallows right don't ever think there's not going to be a yogurt station and an assortment of fruits as well right and desserts as well i forgot about that and this is what i went with right we got some pasta 
now they also ha have an app that they encourage you to get and on the app you can look at the different restaurants so it will tell you there were different restaurants start open at the night some of the restaurants have to make a reservation like the italian restaurant and there's a japanese restaurant all right so i'm just going to show you guys how the app work you can go on it i thought you would be able to see the menu on the app but you're not going to see the menu it will just tell you if it's open and it tells you the dress code among some other stuff right also there's room service on the app you can scroll through throughout the, throughout the day to see what they offer for room service and then you can go on the app and order any amount you want on the app as well it shows you the different entertainment that is there for the day and for the night and what might be there for tomorrow so the app is a very good idea now we went to the asian restaurant the first night because as we arrived we had made a reservation um you enter it's very nice welcoming you're greeted and you're seated right lol <laughs> listen i got bars <laughs> anyways yeah and there you need the qr code you scan you get the menu and you look at and you see what it is that you want now initially i thought this asian restaurant was going to be one where they would make the food in front of you but i was i was mistaken i was wrong but there's appetizer then there's sushi there's main course and then there's dessert so there's a full full-blown meal and we order we definitely ordered something from each area you know they came they asked whatever we wanted to drink i went with a nice glass of wine and this is the appetizer this is spring roll i also got the mixed dice style seafood um for also got the so asian soup of the day we went with some spicy tuna roll shrimp and mango sushi as well as california now the sushi the rice was very wet and very soft so i do not recommend the sushi um but it was okay the spicy tuna roll was the best out of all of them right um we had strip loins and we also had asian noodles for our main course all in all the food i would give it like a 7 out of 10 probably a 6.5 out of 10 for the asian restaurant um that had the, the matcha cake that was the only thing that for dessert it wasn't the greatest either no room service you know you go to a hotel you go to relax you can't but if you wake up out of the bed you know the room service it's 24 hours and like i said you just go on the app you'll be able to see what they have my problem with the room service it took an hour or an hour and a half for it to get there i don't know what happened but it took forever um but when it did get there it was hot and nice right so let me show you guys what i got so this is breakfast obviously right we got some hash browns again the hash browns were heavenly right um omelette french toast we got pancakes as well um and we got <laughs> we got some bagels as well and tea coffee and oh yes ackee and selfish with festival again the only issue was this it took forever another lunch spot garfield beach house right now i never had food here but you know i can show you guys what they have so this is pretty pretty much like the area for you to go and get a jerk chicken basically you know each hotel is gonna have one um but like i said i never got any jerk chicken so i can't really tell you whether it tastes good or not but it does look nice right and they have a wide assortment of different spices because you know people love pepper <laughs> right they had festivals they had folding breads i really like the fact that they were serving the food out of the dutchy pot because you know that's very jamaican right fries escovitch fish as well as some jerk pork obviously this is a hot commodity because there was barely any there and again the jerk chicken now if you didn't want to sit outside you could have dined inside in here as ac and there was cool and welcoming not a lot of people inside you know people come to jamaica they're here for the sun sea and the beach so and a, a lot of people opted to sit outside another spot for lunch west end gourmet corner now i love this area they had burgers they had um hot dogs and you know club sandwiches and a whole lot of other little stuff i guess probably mostly for the kids but i definitely went here and got a burger and i really liked this area because it's right beside my building as well as the other building that my friends were on and in between those two buildings is this restaurant as well as another swim up bar and i didn't necessarily have to go into water a guy was around the property and he was doing little sketches of persons that were there this lady had the time of her life she was always by the bar and she had the time of her life the workers that were there they were very nice as well sean and Damien. 
<laughs> right and the bar has all of the top shelf right johnny walker black label you know baileys and rum cream you know coca mania all of that good stuff and it was free and they bring your food directly to you right so it's like for me there wasn't really much walking again i ordered the food i sat down the bar is right there and then you know i'm just like can i get something and they just easily give it to me you know right beside the pool right it was such a good time so that is the west end gourmet corner right now for dinner we went to the aki restaurant which is the jamaican restaurant and instead of serving you rolls they gave you small folding breads which i thought was very creative we ordered margaritas oh my god they were not good they were not good like the salt that they put around the rim is like it falling at a drink so it was just like salt and water so we had to bring that back and we got some amaritas sauce instead right now crab cake we got a crab cake for the appetizer the cracker was actually quite very good and we had the soup as well for the main course um, I got some curry goat with sweet potato mash and it was very good. It was a lot of bone but the curry goat was still good. And then for the, everybody has got oxtail and you know them never stingy with the oxtail if I'm being very honest. And the oxtail was very good. Also want to add that as well. Um, for dessert I got a cornmeal pudding. It was okay. It's not Miss Pang but it was okay. You get me? And they also had cake. Also, while we we're walking, they have this area set up for like a marshmallow, like a bonfire, bonfire type of thing, right? Um, I think this was for some private persons. They had the chocolate and everything, and this is the bonfire area. So you know, there's there's that fun option. Is if you want to go and get this, you can ask for about it. There's also like the candlelight dinner, you know, that you can have right on the beach, quite romantic and everything. Pretty much concludes the restaurants, right? now for the different activities right we're gonna start with the daytime activities or the water activities and then we're gonna move along to the nighttime activities so this is pretty much the entertainment and i'm just gonna let her tell you about the water sports yeah all right so with the room you mm -hmm. get the free activities are the hobby if you're able to see you can do that um if not we offer escort for 35 dollars or a lesson for $45. You get the boogie boards for free, the paddle boards, and the kayak for free. Oh, okay. Any other um, items are at a cost. So oh, okay. we have the bingo boat, that is for $25 per person. We do deep sea fishing, we do um, dives, scuba diving, mm -hmm. and we also do bottom fishing and river fishing. Okay, and that's at a cost. That's different. Those are as a cost, yes. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, so that's basically the rundown of the different water activities. Now, me, me, I was walking my own snorkeling gear. I have it there and you can use it at a cost to rent it, but I always walk with mine. And guess what I found? I found Patrick. <laughs> I found a little starfish. And, you know, these colors were like the spikes were a little bit orange and like the body was a little green. I guess this is like older brother. You know, I, I just love going snorkeling and. I, I see here you can see where it's Sometimes red like I'm talking foolish it's orange and it's green so it's like pmp and jlp uh, combined yeah. together and everybody have a nice merry time and i enjoy themselves right anyways i put him back you know and then i went a little further out and guess who i saw i saw mr Krabs. you know the entire um spongebob family was here to if i'm being very honest now initially when I saw the crab I thought he was dead but then I disturbed him <laughs> and he ran off so I knew he was dead. Right. I also found a little baby starfish. Look at it. Oh god there were lots of starfish out there if I'm being very honest. These are like the little starfish that they had over their boobs. It's much about that's what the females were over their boobs. This is just me being a fool. And this is the other starfish. Like it had a little red dot in the middle. Don't know what that signifies. <laughs> Wonder if it's Hindu. <laughs> but yeah. So you know, I went snorkeling for a little bit. You know, I, I put back each one of the sea creatures that I found, and then I went further out. And there were a lot of fishes, and I was swimming. I was videoing and i couldn't see what was on the camera there was a glare and the camera was turned around the entire time so it's just 
there's like at least a 10 minute video i have where the video is like this and i'm just like wow these are the, the, the challenges that i have when i'm vlogging because I, I don't really look at the camera sometime you know um but yeah that's snorkeling right so when i was finished and we came up and i saw that my man was on the paddleboard and you know what if you guys saw my things to do in montego bay vlog you saw where i fell off the paddleboard multiple times but i was i decided to give it another go right and before me reach nowhere may, may i fall over again <laughs> no but you see let me tell you something i'm no quitter all right i'm no quitter so you know you have to you have to can roll over before you can crawl and you have to can crawl before you can walk so so me i start off the part of board settings right and i really do like this activity like i went all the way out you know and oh right so this is this is where i finally i finally stood up and unlike the other time again guys check out my things to do in montego bay vlog right i did not fall <laughs> So this is what we call progress. You know, say so when I was down there, a man told me, "Say, yo, oh, my body's strong and nice." And it's just like looking at this video, I can see why he said it. <laughs> like, look at my legs, gains. But he was just like, "No, baby, I walk up on the beach, me feel the earth a shake." Yo, I can't with Jamaican men. So I feel the earth a shake, man. But it's alright, man. You know, it's a compliment. It's a compliment. Right here, I was trying to turn around the paddleboard to go back up, and you know, I, I fell. You know, but you know. This is a part of life. You fall down, you get back up, right? Now they're getting back up on the paddleboard thing. It, it, it kind of difficult more while, but I did get it done. Um, guys, remember to. <laughs> so life go, you know. That's a life go. You get knocked down, but you just you just have to keep at it, and you just have to get back up again. Um, yeah. Guys, remember to follow me on Instagram as well as TikTok. You know, subscribe if you've made it this far. Then I appreciate you more than anything in the world, right? Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Part of board. I wanted to take out the hoobie that's it's a sailboat, but it just it mm, yeah, it was too windy, and then it started drizzling after a while. Yeah, after falling down for that, the next time I I, I I gave it up. But all in all, it was definitely fun, and I do recommend the part of board. Now another thing that i know we're all going down on the beach to is to take some pictures so you know i'm fixing up myself can't have any boob slippage or anything like that and you know while i was there guys i'm bad at posing so ignore me like i'm really bad at posing and while i was there you know trying to pose to take two pictures this man just running and he just came in and he took some pictures with me and that's the environment that's down in the grill right it's just nice friendly welcoming and you know i just spent the rest of the day sitting right here on the beach you know like i can say everybody's friendly so that's me waving to some other persons that were there and so if you're thinking to go to this resort i 100 percent recommend it right i give this resort like a 8.5 out of 10 right actually a nine like the, the few things that i didn't like you know i can see how it can be fixed easily you get what i'm saying Anyways, this is Rommel. This is one of the workers there. Look at his hairstyle. So I'm gonna see him. I'm gonna see him walk around with a bat. I'm gonna say a cricket and I go play. And he was just like, yeah, he's gonna get the wicket. And I'm telling you something. I had to indulge. So that's one of the daytime activities that's there. Cricket. And I've never seen this at a hotel before. No. I was telling Rommel that, you know, my Brian Lara, like when you come to the button, my Brian Lara, no, no young people not going to know Brian Lara, but my time growing up, Brian Lara, the thing there. So I with the ball and I say, I never did a run, because I say, I four that and I say, no, no run. So I say, all right, get a little one run. I say, all right, I realize what the thing said to me, uh, everything. And I'm going to go again. You know, you have to, you have to do the look the look shot, play them. Well, you know, them think you're going to hit with the ball, but you're not really hit it when you, you look a sly play them, so you can get a look of four. You see that? Yeah, so you have to, when you have a bat, I say you have a bat. You used to play cricket in a prep school, and I was the only female on the cricket team in prep school, and I truly enjoyed it. Right, just somebody kind of behave like a little Chris Gale and leave the ball in the air, and them catch me on my own. But I don't mind. I don't mind, because I guess what? I have a little Courtney Walsh in me too. So, you know, them out me out, but I do get my little runs in, I never out for ducks. You know, so sometimes they have play cricket, they just don't want out for ducks, you know. 
<laughs> anyway, it's a time for me to show off my Courtney Wash skills. Again, you young people you might not know Courtney Wash, you know, but I'm on a bowler. Right? Um, and we're playing with the workers, and I was, there were some other guests that were there. Like, everybody was very enjoying it and everything. So the ball lit me right up on my finger. I'm almost catching him, you know. Almost catch him on the old team, but no fear. No fear. I'm out him right out. And that's one. You ain't really sure good, but you go right on the wicket. And, you know, it was nice. I thought I was very different. It's been years since I've played cricket. So I truly enjoyed it. And we did it right on the beach. So they have this down there. Another thing that they have is they have this chess board. Um, so anybody who's interested in playing chess, they have it down there. There's also a basketball court as well as a table tennis, which is in the corner or over there. Um, and they also have this kiddies area. Now, not so that nobody was really around here, to be very honest. I don't even think anybody come around here because if you're going to leave the children around there, then I don't think anybody's going to stay around there to supervise them. But just know that they have it there. So they have table tennis. Now for the nighttime activity. So this lounge that I showed you earlier, this is how it lays in the night. So when we were there, they usually do karaoke, but when we were there, they didn't do karaoke. They just had a DJ and, you know, a lot of Caucasians, you know, they were having the time of their lives, right? <laughs> I personally just love to see when people enjoy themselves. And Miss in the striped dress, you're gonna see her in the back, she truly did. <laughs> Yeah, and you know, outside in the night, they have the jelly area set up. Um, this particular night, they were setting up for the Steel Man show and the fire show. They also have a Michael Jackson show, but we missed it because we were at dinner. And when we go to dinner, we always just sit and talk for like an hour after we finish eating. So by the time we came around, the Michael Jackson show was actually finished. Um, so whenever I don't have any clips of that. But the steel band, you know, this is this is the steel band performance. Again, guys, don't forget to like this video, share this video if you know somebody is thinking to go down by Azul, then you know just share this video with them. They also had a fire show, right? I'm gonna push the fire and I'm out. <laughs> yeah, so they also had the fire show and it went. It went on and on and you, you can see as the clips go on so now i'm kind of just wrapping up um so like i said this hotel i would give it a nine out of ten right customer service was very good checking in process was very quick they have two lobby areas so if you you know not get through the other one you can go down the other lobby area between each building there's a bar i really like that so it's like you don't have to walk too far to go to a bar and i've been to other hotels where you come in like i'm walking for days just to find something so it's not like that and the the food overall i would give the food like a you know like a seven out of ten you know the asian restaurant you yeah, can can work on yeah the asian restaurant and what all that i've heard from other people who have been before is that italian restaurant is very good unfortunately we didn't get the chance to go to the italian restaurant because when we were there um the saturday night i don't think it was open or we didn't make reservations i'm not even sure but we just didn't get the chance to go to the italian restaurant um, um the jamaican restaurant the aki restaurant is definitely good like the food is good good quantity um just the, the margaritas were the downfall for me i just i guess it was a accident or maybe the guy that was making it was a printer because the salt it just was all up in the drink and it should have just been around the rim um i don't know if it was room service i think that was, was probably a mistake i think they had mixed up the room numbers so the room service took a little bit longer way longer than i wanted it to but when the food did come it was actually hot and it was very good um, so that was that was just those two little things that were the downfall for me the room service and that one margarita all the other drinks were okay and like I said uh, they offer a wide variety of alcohol right so you know you you get whatever it is that you're looking for there so I do recommend you guys book it you guys can check out their website you know to see what the prices are and you know if you if you go down there and they ask where did you learn about Azul you just say Amanda's 876 Adventures. Again guys, like this video, share the video, subscribe to my channel, 
follow me on Instagram. You know, if you're looking for a tour guide in Montego Bay area, then you can link me, send me a DM. Um, so, yeah, and I mean, this was pretty much the fire show. Um, uh, it's, it's, it's entertaining. That's a part of the nighttime entertainment. So, yeah. Now, what? because we didn't get to go to the Italian restaurant at the hotel, we left and went to um, Kenny's Italian Cafe, which is close by. They open at 3 p.m. Contrary to what the IG says, the IG says 2 p.m. So when we came here, we were actually quite early, but we didn't mind. We waited. The music was good. And the ambiance is nice. They also have, quote-unquote, parties here in the night. Um, Friday going onwards. So, And we actually wanted to go to one of them um, Friday night while we were here. But, you know, we're just so tired, you know. This hotel trip for me was more about relaxation than... Um, like partying or anything like that but this is how inside look and this is a this is the setup for the cafe yeah so they have the chairs which are in, i guess they have hookah as well looking like the vip area um like i said i wasn't there in the night so i don't know how the setup is and this is their menu you can pause have a look at it and see what is it like um, we got some cheesy garlic bread and some pizza and I got a Bahama Mama as a drink, which was quite good. But yeah, that was pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching the vlog. Thank you for making it this far, you know, and stay tuned because in my next vlog, I went to South Trelawney at Two Hidden Gems and I'll be talking about it. And this is the one of the falls that we went to and I also linked up with some other mini influencers. So Stay tuned, hit the subscription button so you don't miss when I upload that vlog as well. Thank you guys for watching.